some of the learning options. Now the transportation districts need plans to get kids to and from school on buses while still socially distancing. 7 News' Melanie Palmer tells us how that may look. Classroom plans are becoming more concrete for the upcoming school year, but now superintendents are facing another issue, getting your kids on and off the bus while keeping them six feet apart. Kingsley Cromer is taking a pause out of his busy day to check out this Clinton Park, a place where he would like to bring his kids. I never really shot at this goal, so I'm going to shoot at the goal and then also go check the playground out. So when I bring them down here, I know what I'm dealing with. Like all parents, he keeps a close eye on them. My four-year-old, he can sit right here, this small one. I can see him because he's wild. But he's concerned about the upcoming school year, specifically the bus ride. My seven-year-old, he sucks his thumb all the time, so that's my biggest concern, concern with him. Getting on the bus, getting off the bus, him grabbing that rail, sitting down on the seats. Not taking the bus isn't an option for a lot of kids, especially in more rural areas. A lot of parents, we work, so we don't have a chance to take them to school. It's an issue the assistant superintendent with Lawrence County School District 56 tells us they're trying to figure out now. If we have a bus that is over that 50 percent capacity, how are we going to logistically run that bus twice or possibly three times? He tells us they're still exploring different options like having additional routes, but once the bus gets to the school, he says they're left with a whole new hurdle to jump. Our students have gathered in the gyms before reporting to first period or their first class. That no longer is a recommendation. Pitt says they're talking about a way to fix that by students reporting directly to classrooms. Leaders with Greenville Schools tell us they're sorting through similar logistics. We spoke with a handful of schools in the upstate about their transportation plan. In a lot of cases, they're still trying to figure that out and talking with parents about what options would make them most comfortable to put their kids back on the bus. In Spartanburg County, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. Lawrence School District 56 tells us they'll be holding a virtual meeting tomorrow to further discuss transportation. We've got information about that meeting over on WSPA.com.